A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Al-Rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Shortly before I accepted Islam I had a dream and I was uh, standing on the, the shore of an ocean and there was a huge wave coming towards me and then there was this moment when it stopped uh, and I seemed rooted to the spot and I knew at that point in the dream that I had a choice I could either dive into the wave or I could run away from it and I dived into it and then I woke up and I remember that my teacher said Islam is, is the science of waking up the Prophet وسلم, said uh, people are asleep and when they die they wake up so die before you die wake up while you're still alive and my advice to anyone who has come into contact with Islam uh, on the outward of it is to say this is the point where you're facing that wave dive into it, but find people who understand Islam in order to uh, find out what it really is. And then you will find yourself waking up, you'll find that every day is different. And you will suddenly see the world in a way that you've never seen it before. The Prophet ﷺ said to his creator, Allah, he said, Allah, please teach me to see things as they are. And this is what Islam helps you to do. It helps you to see things as they are. And they're not as they seem. I remember that uh, my teacher, Sheikh Abdul Qadr Sufi, he said, the whole world is designed to stop you from finding out. But he said, you have to find out. You have to wake up. And I remember he told us a story once of the man who used to do the, the lights for the Pink Floyd. Uh, and he was like a magician. He could uh, do anything with the lights to go with the music. And then one day, he fell off the scaffolding, broke both of his legs, uh, but he fell at the feet of this beautiful uh, Swedish lady who kind of took him into her arms and looked after him, and they ended up getting married. And then several years later, he was flying in an airplane, uh, in fact, with a, a whole group of homeopathic doctors. And exactly over the spot where he had fallen off the scaffolding, there was a mid-air collision with a French jet and everybody on board was killed. And Sheikh Abdul Qadr said to me, do you see how he didn't, he didn't learn from what happened to him when he fell off the scaffolding? He didn't wake up. And so when, when, the, when it came round again, uh, he didn't get a second chance. So you have to really live each day as if it's your last. Make the most of it. You have to find out where you come from and where you're going. Before I was a Muslim, no one ever told me that. It wasn't until I became Muslim that people told me, yes, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Surely we come from Allah and surely to Allah we are returning. Now you can make that journey. Everybody's making that journey, whether they know it or not. You can make it with knowledge or you can make it in ignorance. If you make it with knowledge, the best way to do it, in my opinion and my experience, is by putting your head on the ground at least five times a day and praising Allah. And I remember that after I'd accepted Islam, and started doing the prayer. I did it really like a parrot. I, I knew the act, you know, I learned the actions, I learned what to recite. But then one day when I was in prostration, I was suddenly aware that I was in the presence of Allah. Suddenly there was a quantum leap. Then, then my heart went into prostration as, my, as well as my body. And, and uh, this is what happens. If you, if you follow the way of Islam, it will change you, it will transform you. Uh, you will enjoy life, you will see things you've never seen before. All the doors that were open to you before will suddenly close, many of them, not all of them. And many doors that you didn't even know existed will open for you. And suddenly you will find that, yes, you are on a journey. It's a wonderful journey. And uh, this is the way to enjoy it. So uh, when you find yourself facing that wave, don't hesitate for too long. Dive in.